Yeah, uh, you tuned in to the Bradley Show. Show. If you try to get litty, 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 have a couple drinks with Willie, Willie, Willie. Come and join the Bradley, litty, 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 on the Bradley Show, Show, Show. See some bad girls, I'm about to snatch one Ain't looking for a wife, I wanna have fun Pointing to my dog like that one On some Terminator shit, I'll be back If you ride for me, girl, I do the same thing Man, your body on fire, girl, your shape flame Got some nice juicy lips, I'm thinking brains, babe Telling if I get her in the sister, uh-huh. Mister, get them so easy. Baby, don't tease me. It ain't gon' suck itself. I be feeling like Keezy. Believe me, it's the last card at two seconds on the clock. And I bet I all net it if I take that shot. Cause I'm a pimp by blood, not relay shown. Y'all be chased on, I replay stone. You can catch me in the bitty with the baddie. So they aggy, grip a fatty, call me daddy. Ink a skin and make a tap me. I be laughing. Cause the blue cheese make me smile. Benji always pick up money on speed dial. If you ride for me, girl, I do the same thing Man, your body on fire, girl, your shape flame You got some nice juicy lips, I'm thinking brains, babe Better roll with the winners, that's the campaign When I get a room, I need the top flow Trying to book the show, I need top dough Before we had sex, I need top though Neck Walk up in the spot yelling lock up L's up, but we winning no Hey chick, we them niggas that you need to know I agree with it, she bad and we hit it Got some lip service, Angela Yee with it Mouth and just tongue, never for teeth with it Usually last longer, but nutter than three minutes Girl, you need a trophy, yeah She missionary like choke me, yeah Trying to blow a check, Zoe, yeah But choppers on deck, ball breeze, yeah I might look dapper, but this rapper here clap your blast off like NASA, tough talk, not a factor like Jury on, but ain't gon' Hey, 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 I'ma just tell y'all straight up You know the fucking vibes and you know what it is It's your boy Liddy Willy And we got my motherfucking guy in the building Jig Double G What's poppin' baby? Happening? What's happening? I'm in the video What's happening with hey, you bro? Hey It's a blessing bro Thank you Thank it's you a I, feel blessing. The, I feel the same way I, I, I'm on the Liddy Willy show <laughs> And you the first thing in that rock a bandana Oh yeah? Okay so we, hey, we, they, we with the bandana brothers today You feel me? Cause they okay. was making fun of me They were like Oh Santana Dipset All this other shit <laughs> You watch my episodes Like I was rocking Bandana since episode one. I don't, I'm not trying to bring nothing back. It's just a vibe. That's just swag. You okay. feel me? You feel me? That's what it is. Um. So every episode, every week, we do facts of the week. So I'm just gonna go straight into the facts of the week. Now, facts of the week are. I'm gonna give you a history on facts of the week. So we be talking about shit. My whole lady crew. We be talking about shit. And I be like facts, and they make fun of me for saying facts all the time. So I say, yo. Let's just make facts of the week. So facts of the week, basically, let's start from number one. Rolling Loud, New York. I don't know if you heard about that. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Did you hear how they had, how they banned Casanova, Twenty Two G's, Pop Smoke? Yeah, I seen that. I seen that. Um, I seen Casanova talk about, but I seen that. Um, I forgot one of the blogs posted it up that it had like four rappers that they didn't want the police didn't want like four of them niggas yeah. to come in or some shit like that. They banned them because they stated previous records considered, like considered of a danger. Like that's fucked up. Like, fucked are, up. are you are you gonna sue for that or? Me personally, yeah. Damn, I'll, I'll look into that. I'll, I'll be curious to how does what was Rolling Loud's position? Did they stick by the artist or right. did they stick by the what's the name? And did they did the artist still get paid? So I'm curious to know how yeah. did that work if out? If you got the bag early, would you just shut the fuck up and keep? If riding? I still got paid, then I really want to say too much. Right. I feel a certain way, but right. if, but now if they fucked up my bread, like okay, if I was supposed to get some bread, Fact. bread, and now I can't get that, now you can sue. Now Tight. that's a problem. But if I got paid, I just be like, damn, that's some fucked up shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, I can't right. perform my own hometown. So right, and and and. and Casanova, Casanova broke over. From, and I'm highlighting Casanova because he's the most like I guess 
um, mainstream artists out of all these guys that are coming Pop Smoke, yeah. 22 G's and all that. But Casanova broke out of the whole I'm um, killing gangster type shit and he moved over to the, his shout out to Casanova and his album that just came out. But he was on there talking about like, yo, what the fuck? I haven't gotten in trouble all year long. Yeah, I arrested the snitch 6 9 Like, I was beefing with him and then that nigga is still not letting me on. Um, talking about 6 9 Showtime. You watch Showtime? No. You don't watch Showtime? No. You don't watch Power? No. Not at all? Power. No. <laughs> oh, I, I it's hear about stars. It. Sorry. I hear about it. <laughs> so Showtime just signed 6 9 in jail. I heard about the deal that was Showtime was signed, though. Yes, Showtime. Well, before the $10 million deal with albums and music and all that, Showtime just signed him, excuse me, and said that they called this shit called... It's called Super Villain. So basically, they're going to do some sort of industry bad guy type shit, and they signed him for eight series episodes on Showtime. Like, a lot of people are saying he's a snitch, this and that. And one track that I gotta, re I gotta read this because Trenches, you said, if you get Jack, get payback in all black. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a big fact. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was saying, so yeah. niggas, niggas is like, yo. They were saying, yo, they fucked this girl, they they robbed him, what is he supposed to do? In my opinion, it's exactly what you said. Like, if niggas did what they did to you in the street, go back and do it the same way. If not, go to the wide. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 100% because that's the that's the image and the lifestyle he chose to jump into. Right. So I would assume that, okay, you talk on all that gangster shit, some gang shit happened, you handle it the gangster way. Now, if you didn't portray that type of image, you like you were Ed Sheeran or any type of artist, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, who just, you know, you just putting out good music then it's no problem you shout doing to that. Justin Timberlake <laughs> yeah you know, you know but if, if you portraying that image and you got all these gangster niggas and you saying you're a gangster and all that other shit then I would have you supposed to have a certain lifestyle you you, 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 you gotta have get to, the get back yeah you, you gotta, gotta get the get back you gotta stay you gotta stay in your lane take the L go back and give that nigga the capital L you feel me yeah so um the last fact of the week is um 99 Gems you know Ricky Smiley in the morning show and all that uh, yeah, I'm familiar with Rick Smiley okay. Morning Show, yeah. Did you know that Trick and Treat are about to take over in the game and they're ending the Ricky Smiley show, Ricky Smiley show and putting Trick Daddy and Trina in the morning now? That's crazy. That's dope. That's I would dope. Love, I would love to see that. Tell me, yeah, yeah, that's that's amazing. Shouts out to Trick and Trina. That's because we from the crib. So why wouldn't we want to hear some homegrown superstars and their perspective? And we were just talking about that. Like I was nah, telling I you, like that. there's no there's no syndicated Miami show. Uh huh. So New York got Ebro in the morning. Uh -huh. Um, California got LA Leakers. Um, New York, uh, New York, the other side because Hot 97 is number one hip hop station but then you got 1035 the beat or 1035 103 something in new york with dj nv and Charlemagne the god uh -huh. but we don't have no miami artists in miami that's doing the morning show so if trick and trina get that which i heard they are already oh, oh that's the first time i heard that's amazing that's again a big shot fact. at trick and trina go to miami both go shots out you know um that's crazy so we do a segment every episode of this show is called overrated underrated okay so we ask you about an artist well we asked about two artists okay and we asked you which one's overrated which one's underrated i'm gonna go straight into it little baby and the baby which one's overrated which one's underrated uh no i don't think none of them how can i answer i, I love <laughs> both of them i don't think none of them I don't think none of them overrated or underrated. I feel they're both extremely so successful, extremely successful, so they can't be underrated. The whole world knows them and loves them. Facts. And I feel like they both talented and they got to where in a position with good music. I don't think there's no gimmicks with them. I'm fans of both of them. So at this moment, you don't believe in one's underrated or overrated? <clears throat> Nah, they both running a game, and I don't. So I can't say underrated. They both get they both get them bags, shows, shows, tour worldwide. Everybody knows so they definitely not underrated. I was riding with my slime the other day, and I told him I was like, listen, it's easy right now for both of them because both their names are baby. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the situation of being from Wisconsin, Idaho, somewhere where people don't know the difference of babies, yeah. If you just search baby, you're gonna get the baby or little baby. So both of them are eating right now because it doesn't matter who it is. Because both of them are popping. Yeah. No they matter both, what. They both winning. Shots they're both, they winning, both winning. Yeah. yeah. But the baby just dropped something. So if you don't know shit about hip hop and you type in baby and little baby shit pops up, 
you're gonna hear that and be like, yo, that's the tight shit that's popping right now. Yeah. And it's a it's a marketing scheme that I think that I think that they both did. That's dope though. That's dope though because you know now they both went. They both got the same name, it's baby. And they, and they just did a song together. That shit's lit. Yeah. So shout out, that's dope. that shit's lit. Yeah. Uh, underrated, overrated. Mike Smith is always dollars. Uh, I feel the same way about both of them. I feel like both of them, they both dope artists. See me, I don't know. I just I, I generally look at artists from a, from a different perspective. I, I commend anybody. You doing something that you trying to make progress with, and you not garbage. Like they like they both dope. They both dope them season. Mike. But somebody going out. somebody got to be getting their flowers and not enough flowers. Like you got to say one. Uh, <laughs> Hey, that ain't my oh, is that the that. political rapper in no, you? No, that honestly, that's just my style. How I look at every, how I look at everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's right. a, that I, I never downplay what nobody else got. You know what I'm saying? I, I just always look at the good side of everybody. Not really, even really being politically correct. Like they both talented individuals. So you know, if somebody's whack. I'm gonna say they whack. But as you ask, <laughs> hey, hey, shout out to Mike Smith because you did the track with him that yeah, we just referred out, to. Yeah, she in the tree on transit. Shouts out to Mike Smith. You on the album of the year, Double G. So make sure you check that out on yeah. track number two. D you dig yeah. and last one we're gonna get commercial with it Little Wayne or Drake with um overrated underrated ah uh, man they see they they both they both ghosts like Drake is damn near he gotta be one of the greatest of all time like as far as artists like what his impact like what he did right. to this game like we never seen nothing like that just the Bieber hip hop and, and, and then Wayne like come on I mean people people wanna downplay him now I guess he's not like cool as uh, other people's eyes what he is coming in but like god damn that nigga didn't, he took over the game and he the reason for Nicki and Drake he didn't have two megastars because he's of him he's the reason for fucking baby you know what I'm saying sorry, so, so, like, so shout out like, Shouts out, shouts out to both of them They both You know They both amazing I gotta say that At this time Where we stand right now Little Wayne is Underrated Where we stand Right now In this time yeah, that, As you, today's you, day you, you can say that That's basically Basically what I just You know what I'm saying What I want Like, like there's a lot of Lesser dollar youngins That don't know Wayne And when Wayne was popping, I wasn't a Wayne fan. I'm not going to disrespect you and anybody that's watching. I was not a Wayne fan because I was still moving out of the Wu-Tang, Cameron, Dipset, and all that. And I was trying to, to get that. That, But then when I listened to Wayne, and I list, Carter 3 changed my mind. Carter 2 convinced me. Uh -huh. Carter three changed my mind. Carter, Carter one, it sounds back. Carter one was my bible. <laughs> you feel me? Carter you one. You feel me? But but like right now they need to pick because right now the way where he where hip hop stands, Lil Wayne is the god of where hip hop stands. He's a, he influenced damn near fifty percent of what's what's hot. What's right standing now. right now? Yeah, it's a know, fact. He's a major it's a influence. Fact. His it's DNA is in, in a lot of artists that's winning right now. So I'm gonna just introduce you. We introduce you once, or we're gonna do it again because we're going straight into interview. But before we get to interview, you see how you're looking at me? Yeah. We're gonna play this game. Okay. You see this game? We can turn up. You're Cuban and you're black. Yeah. Cubans love to drink, and I don't know what blacks do because I'm not black, but I. <laughs> <laughs> but Cubans love to drink. So we're gonna play this game called House or Premium. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take these two shots. Okay. Because we we usually have three, but we're starting off with two today because I gotta drive home. So, like, okay. um, this right here is Patron or Tequila or El Toro. We're gonna take these two shots together. Okay. You have to figure out which one is the house, which one is the premium. So I gotta figure out which one is Patron. Shit or garbage. One of these is Patron and one of these is, is, is this? It's this. Okay. All right. You sure? Come on, let's run it. I don't turn right. down, don't turn up. All right, so whoever gets it wrong has to move. Wait, I'm sorry. Guys, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, you're gonna be kidding me. I'm fucking with my manager. Like, <laughs> She's like, nigga, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but we have to differentiate which was it. So we're gonna take these shots together. Whoever loses has to move to the next round. Okay. If we lose together, we gotta move to the next round together. Okay. All right, ready? So. So who knows what's put, who, some, uh, you know, okay. You see these numbers we'll on the bottom? It, we you gotta call which one's which. So you're gonna say two is shit, one is good, or one is shit, two is good. House or premium. House or premium. I think that's a, what that's a one. Are you, pre you so performing enough in clubs to know what between house and premium? How would it, we'll, we'll see. Let, let, we're going to see right now. We're Ready? See. So we take them both back to back. We're back to back. But you got to differentiate. Don't suck them down together because then you're going to be like, oh. Uh. Okay. Okay. Ready? One, two, go. Oh, yeah. I know what that one is. 
fuck, I hate this game, bro. And then you pick the shittiest liquor. What's wrong? What's wrong? Is this vodka? Which number? Uh, what? <laughs> two. No way, this is not. Two, I got it right. He, he's gotta go, he's gotta go. I got it right or wrong. He has to go, he can't oh, yeah. tell you. So he gets One is good and two is shit. I'm sorry I referred to that. One is good, two is shit. One is Patron. Oh, so we both got the same number. Yeah, you, if I put it in the same glass number. Oh, so we gotta go so, to he the probably, next so he probably cheated. I ain't cheating, right. I was with you. I said it's a Patron first. I said it's a Patron first. Listen, why does everybody like, come on and say that? Million dollar moves, shout out to Fred Carr. Fred Carr put these up the we're shouting out the sponsor tonight. Fred Carr, send these shirts out for but listen, why does everybody think? Because I, I if I would have known that I would have kept it up myself, he would have got it wrong. So we're both we're both right. No, I was right, you cheated, but come on, next round. Okay. <laughs> uh rum. What's this? Rum. Rum and what? One's rum Havana and rum. Club, one's Bacardi O'Cart. One's Havana Club. So Havana Club is the good shit. Uh, I had that when I when I just shot the video in Cuba too. I had that that's that's See? the main thing they drank over there. See? See? And, uh, and what's Bacardi. Bacardi. Ah, this this Puerto gonna Rico. be hard because I don't even drink rum. You don't I drink dark? Nah, I'm, I'm a tequila man. What's the fight? Oh, tequila, it's, I, I don't drink tequila, but I do drink clear. So, what's the difference between clear and white? I don't know. I used to, before I used to be heavy on Hennessy cognac and all that, but I yeah. just, I, recently, I think like the last five months, I've just been everything just Patron, Patron, Patron. Shout out to Jake. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Three, two, one. Oh, I, I know what the, I know. I know. You don't know yet. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I know. You sure? Positive. But this time I ain't gonna say it to you because I know. I know. I know. I know, the trick. I know exactly. I'm gonna tell you right now. My opinion is anything that in, in rum, anything that's sweeter is the gooder. I, 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 no, you don't agree with I, me. You nah, just I'm, just, I'm, I'm just gonna say what's. He what, sounds what, like what, a what, politic what, right now. Like that. I don't. Uh, Donald Trump is the president. That's all I gotta say. Was it the first one you drank or the second damn, one? Damn, now nah, I just speaking to him. Damn. I knew it was. One is good to his shit. What's that? What is good to his shit? First was Havana Club. What's your number saying right here? Yes. In my opinion, one is good to a shit. In my opinion, and I, I honestly, I ain't even lying. I was speaking to him. I, I, I know I, when I tasted. I can take that another shot. <laughs> <laughs> For what I remember now, I, I knew when I tasted it, which was a Havana because I remember that taste. And I, but I'm gonna just say jig, one, bitch. I'm one. double G. <laughs> I'm gonna say one was Havana Club, two was that. Number two is the Havana Club. Okay, so I got. So we both wrong. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. what's the what's the next step? Both of y'all going to the next level. Oh. Let's go. The next level is guess what we do? What happened? We do this. We do this, mm -hmm. and whatever is left in these cups for the camera. Oh my god! And since you got a cup already, maybe that cup right there. We throw everything in there. Well, we sip this together as we speak. That's this to get fucked up cup. That's called the King Liddy cup. Okay. So Jake, what's happening? Talk to me. What's happening? What's happening? Double G, aka Jake, explain my name. Even though you said on Hustlers Prayer, Jake beat my name in the street before I had a rap name. Definitely, definitely. That was my name because before I started doing music, you know, my nickname was Jake. So when I decided to do music, I didn't know if I was gonna get far with it. So I was like, damn, how I'm gonna go back to the hood and be. Oh, I, my name is MC Skillet. Listen to me. <laughs> if, it, if it don't work, I gotta go back to my homeboys, and it's like I'm I'm a different person. Right, facts. So when I decided to do music, it was gonna be like autobiographical. Who I, who am I? So I wanted to be you stuck with the name. I stuck with the name, and I like how you did the tape too because the tape was still like your the name, name type G. Yeah, so yeah, everything yeah. everything is basically like it's me. So that's it's my original. Purpose. It's yeah. original. Bring man. you to my world. It's a fact. Um, where am I? Me from Liberty City. He, you see how he said it quick, bro? Like, 
Yeah, that's that's why the and, it, and if you pay attention to the cover, that's why um R.I.P. to the uh USA flea market. They took they took the flea market down. Um grew up like They killed that shit, right? Yeah, that, that was that was our hood. Grew up like four blocks away from there. So I wanted to make sure that on my album it was As something. a legit growing up, that was your yeah, spot, right? That was a spot. Go there, get haircuts, right, 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 right. We walk walk over there. Chains, yeah, gold, sneakers, t shirts. So on the album, I wanted I was like, damn, I, I shot the cover in front of there. We was damn there, we trespassed through that because <laughs> it was they already had bought it and it was Already shut down, but was like, man, fuck that. We this we all we we gonna get it. So we I did it. So I did the photo shot. If you I look like at the album cover, I'm, I'm in front of um USA Fleet Trespass. I like that. I we like had that. to get it. That was for Liberty City because they say it down. It was Mario Bando. Pariah tried to do the same thing with the Liberty City Flea Market. We had the US One Flea Market because we're, we're from Exit One and. Um, Perrin tried to do that same kind of they had the same concept it wasn't the you know but but then we still have the Naranja flea market I don't know the name of that like it's like it's the supermarket fiesta. but the yeah, fiesta some shit okay. but shout out to okay. but your town was the one that started the big town cities of uh, don't kill it now this is <laughs> 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 I'm trying to help him out. I'm trying to be a, a good interviewee. So the people don't know, we have a Cuban and an African American. Definitely. And you said it on the track. Definitely. How was it growing up? In Liberty City, actually. Um, honestly, um, I didn't really feel no different a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's like I know because like where I was raised, and I didn't really experience the Cuban culture too much because like how I was raised, I wasn't around that. So the culture. So I which was, one's who? Before I started to interrupt. My you. mom is Cuban. Okay. So my my dad is black. So I was the voice. I was raised with my mom, but I wasn't raised in the Cuban culture. As right. I got older, I wanted to get more into my roots, so I started learning the Spanish more on my own. My mom would just speak Spanish when she when she cursed at me or something. You know, she was pissed <laughs> off. She was pissed off. Oh, when she cooked. Yeah, yeah. Did so, moms cook Cuban food? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. especially my grandmother's th things like that. So I was blessed. I felt like I had a, a, a best of both worlds and right. things like that. Right. So so growing up, I, I felt it was normal. I didn't feel nothing. Um, you can't I, get more Miami than that. Yeah, Cuban and black. Like yeah. I'm, 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 name one other. Cuban and Haitian I mean other than that like, There's no other Better Miami mix Than that like, Definitely Definitely And so. then Liberty City Did you any did, did you connect To anybody else That was the same culture As you with Cuban and black Or you don't It's got crazy I had one of, one of my best friends I mean he come out, he's coming home soon So I shot the OJ He's another one of mine He was from AP Alapata And he was um He was Cuban and black Also was wrestling That was the only person I ever met That was like The same exact mix yeah. as me So we was also Mom and dad type shit yeah, Like mom, mom was Cuban Dad his dad, was his dad, it was it was opposite. His dad was Cuban. Got you. And um, his mom was black. So it was the opposite. We was real, real tight growing up. Free the guy, man. Free the guy. Free OJ. I just spoke to him like till we come home like in seven months. Was that the one you talking about spin bars on the mixtape? Um, which one? You say you were spin. Oh, bars. Prince. That's another one. Okay. I, I, I got a lot of guys. Spin them out there. <laughs> See, I'm listening to yeah, the tape. Prince, at least. Home now. <laughs> that, was, that was my. I was talking about my dog Prince. You know, what I'm saying that, it was a real talk. Like one time he called me from jail and he heard the music and he was singing. Tag him on that. Some Lily Woodies. This is the yeah, whole tape. Yeah, yeah. Shots out of print. He home now. So okay. OJ Omar coming home like in in March. So okay. I make sure you know you gotta keep in contact with my guys when they down and, and it feels crazy motivational because they see where I come from. They know and they they see my growth. So they be surprised like it's damn you doing some positive bro. with your life. So yeah. it feels good. It's a big fact. Like listen to me, where where I met you at and where we're sitting today, you, you done grown up like and no like age type shit like wherever you at. Um, the haters are gonna say it was fake. Mm -hmm. But bang bang, the billboard was mm -hmm. that real or fake? Even though I know it was real. Oh, a hundred percent facts. You know, no, so people didn't know. What? Jig had a billboard. Yeah, a whole billboard, like street billboard. Yeah, like tell them. Yeah, I had a billboard. So me, one thing about me, because I understand this music game. Um, unfortunately, everything is not based on how good your music is. You know, so right. you can't be a talented artist and you put out good quality and you sit on your ass like, oh, I'm better than him, so I don't got to do nothing. That's not the truth. You Still, yeah. as good as you are artistically, you have to be marketing wise and ground wise. Right. So when I go into my marketing campaigns, I'm like, okay, what nobody else doing? I'm not just gonna do the same shit. Put out the music, uh, put it on IG, listen to my shit. I'm hot shit. I'm the best in my end. No, fuck that. I have to put. A grind I still got like a sore thumb, my nigga. Thank you. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do something. What nobody else ain't doing right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do it with respect, cause I'm not gonna go eat shit or rob a bank. Like you know how these niggas do today? Like they do stupid shit. I'm not yeah. gonna do stupid shit. If I gotta spend the bag and throw out a billboard, I'm gonna do a billboard. If I gotta go and say an announcement on a high school record, but that billboard shit, like a lot of people, like they say, that's the famous saying, 
Haters are gonna hate. Uh -huh. That was real. Facts, facts. Some people make it rain on hoes. I make it rain on my brand. It's I different. knew it was real because when I seen the the, the outskirts, the billboard was straight with no kind of bottom skirts of it. I'm yeah. oh, sorry, he knows what I'm talking about. But the bottom skirts, yeah. I seen the bottom skirts, same same color as your color on top. I'm like, yo, Come jig on, double G. No, everything <laughs> official on this side with double G. Jig did some made, real shit. Yeah, bro. made made history. That's that's forever. So I stamped the street. So I wanted to do something. The feedback was crazy. The, 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 How'd you feel about that though? Oh, I felt amazing yeah. because I I felt amazing the feedback and to this day like every day I get feedback from that because it's like it's like it's never gonna go nowhere because like was, was the cost affordable for the Brazilian show to a banner on there? Or? Was the cost affordable? Yeah, everything is affordable. You can get you you you, you yeah. Liddy Willie. You can afford anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> we got hot eye jig. We need a billboard, yo. Yeah. Um, trenches. Mike okay. Smith. That that track was lit. Yeah, appreciate Sorry. that. That's one of my favorite tracks on that too. Like trenches. Trenches was. Uh, I respect you. I listened to the whole tape. Trenches was like number three, but trenches was. Three for me is like high because I'm a hip hop connoisseur, but trenches was like. You, you put everything you had to make you express yourself, like, for the street value. Definitely. Like, I'm not fucking around, this is what it is, and this is what it do. How'd you meet, how'd you hook up with Mike? Uh, Mike, Mike, we would just always see each other in past, and so um, we always run into, into each other, like, we was both on the come up trying to make a name for ourselves in Miami. Okay. And, um, you know, and he just said, yo, we gotta cook up one day. So I was like, when he said that, I was like, you know, we gonna cook up, and I had this song, I was doing my album, and I had this song, and I was like, damn, Michael, <laughs> Michael Killers. So I sent it to him, and when he when he heard it, he's like, damn, this shit is hard. And he said- That hook is crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 so he sent it right back, and we made history. So shouts out to Mike Smith, man. We killed that song. So if y'all didn't know, go listen to Trenches by my guy Double G. He was defining six nine before six nine was in jail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, you know. Yo, um, I'm gonna give you some credits. Even though the credits are not due, but the credits is always due. Yeah, Miami nigga, you're from Liberty City. You're swag, you're dip, you're fresh. Appreciate that, bro. That's not a Miami swag. Yeah. Where do you get that? that where do you get that swag from? Because um, no, no, it's not Miami. Don't sit here and lie to me. Tell me it's from Miami. No, I get I get swag from like. See, I'm a hip hop connoisseur. So, I, oh, so he stole my name. I say that every yeah, episode. Yeah, like yes. I, I'm, I'm a hip hop connoisseur. So I look at all the guys who fresh in the game, like the fans. Uh, let's start right now. You got the DKNY. You know what I'm saying? Look, you got look, the Cuban League. Look, you, know? look, 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 sound, you, got the, you got you got you got the Jim Jones. Like listen. So so like I'm a hip hop connoisseur. So, like, I, so I, I love like fly freshness and things like that. Cause everything, everything that's what hip hop is about is the is the sound, the look, is is right. everything. So it's like right. you know I embody that. So like when I put my music out, I, I, I live it also. Well, I gotta tell you because um I seen you now and I seen all your videos. I seen your Bang Bang video in Cuba. Mm -hmm. People don't know you did it. Cuba shot that in Cuba went out there in Cuba and we was touching the people you know yeah, people go yeah, out of town and they deal with the, the tourist parts no. I was like fuck that we, have, they, we went to the I seen ugh. asses and I seen old cars oh, so yes, I knew you was in the yes. I knew you was in the trenches the, I'm touching the people sorry nighttime. my wife is why my first wife is, but we seen asses and we seen <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I was I was touching the people it was beautiful it was beautiful to go out there so I, I embraced the culture and I experienced some grace but so, you were still swagged up bro and I love that shit because that. you know what I'm saying you <laughs> A lot of guys from Miami, you know, they do it. They got the lyrics, they got the gutter. But gutter niggas from Miami always got the the dickies, the I got the Arab, and and you're taking it to the next level. Like I got the lyrics, I got the I got I'm from the trenches. I I don't, I don't wear Reeboks. Like I got the fucking Balenciagas, I got the Jordans, I got you know what I'm saying. So I got the Gucci's, I got the DKNY. Like shout out to the, we we want a sponsor, <laughs> but no I, no no. But I, I respect the dip because I'm from New York. Appreciate you know what I'm saying. I respect the dip. Fly you recognize know? fly. You feel you know me? Like, you that yourself. I see. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey you know? hey, but this is not. No no name brand. Listen, this it is, don't gotta be a name this brand. Is, this is local. It, 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 it ain't gotta be on you. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? Like I tell niggas straight out, you can't buy swag. You can't. You give a nigga five it's grand. You give a good nigga five grand. He gonna he, he gonna go, go straight Gucci. to a mannequin. And still look broke. You can wear Gucci and still look broke. <laughs> <laughs> shit don't mean none. Shit don't mean none. What's wrong with that's that nigga? it, bro. I, I don't know what to say no more. Like like he don't he don't fuck me up. That's, that's my saying right there. For real. So. Um, only three five to beat you want to pop a Keith. 
Definitely, definitely. How was it? Oh, it was amazing. It was, it was definitely. How'd you get connected to that? Like, um, I, I got connected to him because he, I know, I have a mutual friend with him and right. things like that. So it was pretty for the music. Like he seen the video in, in Cuba and things like that. So yeah. he has a little platform where he tries to give back and see artists on the rise, a, a different audience. So that was a great look for me because I've never been on that station before. So anything big or small that happens to me with my brand, I always look at it as a, as amazing blessing, such as, such as this. I look at this on the same levels. As, were, were, as, you, as were, that. were you like, like, were you like? Or hesitant or a little bit like oh man I gotta see what I see F no I'm myself all day every day let's do it you gonna give me a platform to be myself cause that's what I'm that's what I'm giving the public myself so it's not no script I'm reverse. To... I'm reverse. like if I go if I go to a celebrity I'm gonna give it everything I got and not give a fuck and say what I gotta say uh -huh. but if I go towards a person that's not a celebrity I'm gonna like yo I gotta I gotta pick my words and choose correctly because you guys and I say you because you're gonna be the one that's gonna make it to the next level. Appreciate that. The DJ, the radio host, all those people, uh -huh. they're gonna be on that same level. But you're gonna be in a position one day where you're gonna say, yo, I did an interview with Lady Woody, I did an interview with the Brotherly Show, I did an interview, and that's gonna make me, like, when they come back to see this shit, that's why I wanna say, yo. Flex on them, both biceps, you see that? That's how we doing. All day, every day. Young Flexington. That's what I call my son, actually. My son, my son, my son, my son. My shout Listen, I'm going to give y'all time right now. I'm give, this this has nothing to do with the show. Yeah. My son, Johnny Joe. Nine. Be What's big. his name? Willie. Shouts out to Lil Willie. <laughs> Lil Willie. My son's, my son's 120 pounds. Like, he, he's big. He's a big boy. Okay. But he's like, yo, it's my birthday. I got 200 dollars. But he likes to flex, like he likes to buy clothes, sneakers, and all that. So I was like, "Yo, you're you're small and men buy whatever you want." So he went to Twenty One. Um, what is it called? Forever Twenty One. Forever Twenty One. Okay. He bought he he bought three sneakers and then he went to Forever Twenty One, two hundred dollars worth of clothes. He's like, "I bought this, I bought that." He bought a sweater, he bought a leather jacket. He 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 was good. Next day before he sh before he goes to school, he said that. I'm gonna flex on these niggas. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> nine years old. Nine years old. I was like, what do you mean you're gonna flex? He's like, I'm gonna flex. I don't care what nobody says. So he went to school with the. The only thing he had, you know, because you know, with school today, we have uniforms. Yeah. The only thing he had was the shorts because mm -hmm. he had the jacket. So he threw the jacket on. He took my fitting. He threw the fitting on. He threw his hirachis, red, yellow, and green. He's like, I'm gonna flex. I don't care what nobody says. So that was like. And then when I told him, where'd you learn that from? I watched the Liddy show. Whoa. <laughs> I was like, all right, so you flexing. So, so you got to flex. You got to flex for my son. Like, you got to let him know what definitely, it is. Definitely, definitely. Um, New projects. What you got out? What you coming next? Uh, right now, like I said, I got WG just dropped um, in the works of shooting some big, big, big video slash short films on the, on the what's the name? Other than that, I'm working on... I ain't gonna say top secret, but you know, Double G2 is in the works already. Yeah. So, what? Uh, you know, I work nonstop. Say I work nonstop. So, yeah. you gotta work nonstop. So, other than that, like, just working on making Ooh. sure the world hears this is Double G, but definitely gotta stay consistent. 24, we on episode nine of season four, and I haven't made it yet into a artist that came on this show into their video. Mm -hmm. Let me get any video. Of course, why not? Yeah. Why not? I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you the, the time and locations. I'm shooting like two back to back, so I'm gonna let you know. I don't wanna do gangster shit. I wanna do like funny shit, like talking shit shit. Okay, like, cool. I'm gonna let you know the treatments and you pull up, pop out, you know, bring a bring little Willie with you at all. Don't so bring my son, man. Yeah, so we gotta turn up with him. Um I gotta appreciate you, bro. Like, um we've been talking about you since Industry nights, so you gave me that first chance in industry nights, mm -hmm. and I give and I say that you gave me that first chance because if we met on industry nights and you perform out there, you were still dipped. You still Appreciate had to dig in your eye, like like <laughs> you had that one. Yo, but I gotta tell everybody, like, keep following my guy, Double G. Tell me where you can find you at. 
J I double G on Instagram, all social media platforms. I'm J I G G three hundred five on Twitter, but it's J I double G everywhere. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure you get the album on iTunes, title, however you listen to music. Go get it. Your grandmama got it. Your mama got it. Obama got it. Oprah called me this morning. She was playing it. Don't be the last one playing it. Double G, the album of the year. Trump called me and said, "Yo, take him off for of industry nights. You gotta take Jig off because." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, industry nights. You out there? Appreciate that. You really out? You, you are you really at every industry nights or are you? Because every time I look around, like I get there, you're there. If I'm leaving, you're there. Like I gotta show love because anything, anything that's like, like productive that's going on in the city, I gotta show up and show support. So I see that um what Big Chuck was doing, he was sending together. Shout out to Chuck. Shout out to Chuck. He's sending together an event to, you know, to, to give people a platform. So you gotta make the best of it. Fact. Everybody want handouts, but nobody want to work hard. It's a so fact. so that's a platform so why not go out there and network Get you never shit. know who you're gonna meet i met you like we met each other on a random out there so if i would have been a lazy ass on my ass artist i wouldn't have met you while right. out a couple months later i'm not having the littest interview ever right, right. now tune in don't tune out you know <laughs> so, subscribe like comment all that all shit that. so i, I Yo, met you there so shout out out. anybody gotta give a shout out to like everybody and everybody shouts out to the brother lady show i want to thank you you know what i'm saying you give me a lot of prize when i get you prize because you know the same it goes one hand Watch, it, watch facts, the other You facts, know what I'm saying facts, facts. They got a dope show I see what you doing You want to come up from You know what I'm saying It's crazy how we went From just meeting there And now you lit You know what I'm saying <laughs> I'm You trying lit. to get lit So shouts out to the show <laughs> You know what I'm saying I'm humble that You know I'm able to, to, to Bless your platform As a main artist You could have chose Hey if y'all didn't know I tried to get Jig earlier And he told me straight out He was on some Hollywood She's like yo I'm on Revolt Don't believe They know that <laughs> They, they won't believe that. Jig on Revo. Listen, if I say it right now, you're not going to believe me. But six months later, you're going to be like, yo, Jig was really talking about Revo and now he's on Revo. Yeah, no. <laughs> I never turned him out. I met him. He know every time he hit me. He was like, hey, can I get you? I'm like, of course. What's the date? What's the time? I'm there. So this my guy. So, so shout out. Anybody out. else? Shout out. Like the family, people that you, you know, I'm day shout ones, out. day ones. Uh, shout out. I got my I got my bro bank in the building. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody who showed me love. Shout out to everybody who support me in any any way, shape, or form. I appreciate y'all. You know, just, just bump Tell that double music. G. Where you can find the music? iTunes, um, Spotify, Tidal, everywhere at YouTube, um, SoundCloud, you know, anywhere you 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 digest music at, make sure you search Jig Double G. I got the album of the year. It's not called the album of the year for no reason. Front to back is amazing. Check it out. Hit me up on social media. Let me know what you think. Let's engage with each other. Let's build. And when we close out, what was the closing song we were going to? Bet big, bet big. So. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Look, we're scrolling. This is real life. We're scrolling. And we're you know what's real life? That we had a game and somebody didn't abide by the rules. So now I'm gonna drink all the cup by myself. <laughs> I was sipping. You know I was what sipping. I'm saying? I was sipping, bro. I, was, I, I swear I was sipping. See, that's what happens. God don't like ugly. Oh, When you speak, Ching. see, I play for keys uh -huh. and I'm out yeah. your reach. Uh -huh. Nigga, peek, take a seat, class of session, time to teach. Like, rule one, you talking big, better have some chips. Rule two, if you broke, don't be talking shit. Rule three, if you lose, better pay me quick. Rule four, I hope you do, cause I'm what you want to I put whatever on myself, see, you talking that you never, we can put that on the rest. What you want to bet? Put your bank where you might that And if you ain't about that Then little niggas slap that What you wanna bet? I put whatever on myself So you talking at your neck But we can put that all the rest What you wanna bet? Put your bank where you might that And if you ain't about that Then little niggas slap that What you wanna bet? Talking big, big, big Put your money up 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 Jake made that 
shit. That's love. Peace.